Yeah, I mean, of course it was a big shock, you know. Everything we are getting told at that point was um, nothing but extremely positive, you know, insights from anybody that's running NXT. It was all very positive feedback from everybody, man. Uh, how much they really enjoyed the work I was doing, how much they enjoyed the work that me and Roddy were doing as a team there. You know, Malcolm's obviously an incredible mouthpiece. Hideki was this, you know, new force to be reckoned with. Um, it was really a positive, huge, hugely positive thing with all of them. And I remember I worked a lot with Fit Finley at the time, you know, as far as like agenting matches. And he was always very hands on with the Diamond Mind stuff that we were doing to try and give it more of that realistic touch. Because Fit Finley, as you know, is incredible at that. And he was always telling me that, hey, this is some of the best work I think I've seen you do here. Just so you know, I'm like, man, like if Fitz give me this this kind of critiques, like this means something a lot to me, man. This means I'm doing the right thing. We're on the right path. And then like, yeah, two weeks later, I get the phone call that I'm released. And I'm like, okay, well, that's unexpected. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really strange. Like, what, were you given much of a reason or was it just the old budget cuts? thing because that that makes yeah. no little sense when they've then gone and added like what four new members to the group i mean those guys were already uh in developmental and uh oh. there was an idea of actually having them always there before even i left um hmm. there was you know little talks so like things they could do like you know expansions how they could move the group how they could expand the group i know they wanted to start it off as being a very a uh, strong contender for like a serious wrestler group, but like they needed guys that were looked at as serious wrestlers to make that image. And that's where you had Roderick Strong, myself and Hideki Suzuki, three guys that are looked at as, Hey, these guys are just technical, hard hitting wrestlers when they're in the ring. So we put them together. This is going to give it that image. And then that's going to set that in mind, the right tone going forward, I believe. And I did, you know, but uh, the Casper brothers, I believe, uh, the Creed, sorry, the the, the Creed brothers, like absolutely insanely phenomenal athletes. You know, Ivy Nile, she's an absolutely insanely phenomenal athlete. So they're doing incredible things still, honestly. And I've talked with them since and I've told them, you know, hey, man, like you guys make stars of yourself, like go out there and be stars. Like 